Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Many of you have been continuously asking me for different recipes. As I said earlier many times, my kids come back school before lunch. So their tiffin includes snacks or breakfast dishes. But these are the dishes we had during lunch that you could also carry in your tiffin. Hope you would like it. Keep watching. First one is using amaranth leaves. We call it chira. It comes in a dark pinkish shade as well as green. Here I had kept the leaves in water for some time. I haven't used the thick stem. Remove the leaves alone with the thin stems on it so that the cooking is faster. Hold it this way and chop. You can use a food processor to chop it faster if you're doing this in the hurry burry morning. Then slicing one medium sized potato that's washed and peeled. Then you will have to chop 7 to 8 cloves of garlic. I like the garlicky taste in this dish. If you don't want, you can reduce to 4 to 5 cloves. Then you need 1 tablespoon white raw rice, or if you want, you can use basmati rice for this. Now heat a pan and heat some coconut oil or any oil of your choice. Add 1 tablespoon of the rice. Stir for a few seconds until the rice fluffs up. Then add the garlic. Mix until it becomes light brown color. Then add the potato. Now you don't have to add potato if you don't like. My mother makes this dish without potato and it tastes equally good. I'm adding potato for a filling dish. Once the potato is half cooked, add the amaranth leaves. You may find it too much, but after a few minutes, the leaves will wilt and go really soft. Cover and keep on low flame. Give a mix after every few seconds. Add some salt. Be careful while adding salt. This dish really becomes very salty unlike other dishes. Now optional is this ground mixture of grated coconut, green chilies and shallots. I felt the taste can be enhanced when I use my mortar and pestle. Add this to the pan. Now if you don't want to add coconut, you may just add some sliced green chilies. Give a mix and let the coconut get cooked for a minute or two. And then it's done. You may have it with roti or rice. It's up to you. Next is omelette masala. This is very simple. I used to carry this in my tiffin during my college days. For this, you can make omelette in your style by adding spices, onion, green chilies or any other. I make it simple by adding some red chilli powder, a pinch of garam masala, some black pepper powder and salt. Now this tip was given to me by few of you in the comment section. Add some water to make a paste and only then add the eggs so that the spices are well mixed. Thank you so much for this tip. Here I took 3 eggs. Then make the omelette. I use my iron dosa pan so that it tastes better. Just do this way with a fork so that it becomes thick and evenly cooked. Cover and keep on low flame. Turn over to the other side and let it cook for a minute. Into another kadai, heat some oil. Here I have sliced two small onions. Then add few curry leaves and chopped green chilies, around two or three. Mix well, cover and cook on low flame. Once the onion is soft, add one large chopped tomato and some salt. 
then mix well. Cut the omelette as shown. You can keep the size as per your choice. Once the tomato is soft, add half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder, and quarter teaspoon garam masala powder. Mix everything well. Add a glug of water and mix. Then chop in some coriander leaves and mix. Add more water if you feel the mixture is very thick, or if you like it thick, you don't need to add water. Then add the omelet pieces and mix without breaking, preferably with a wooden spatula. Keep it covered on very low flame for two three minutes. Then give a mix, and it's time to take out. This again can be served with rotis. I used to have it with ghee rice in my tiffin. Next is brinjal in curd. It's commonly known as dahi wala bangan. Just showing my version. Here I've taken this type of brinjal or the eggplants, slice them in round shape, not very thin nor very thick. Mix it with some salt. Heat some vegetable oil and fry them until it's brown color on both sides. Crush few garlic and green chilies. Then beat some curd. Now into another bowl. Make a paste of half teaspoon turmeric powder, one tablespoon coriander powder, quarter to half teaspoon garam masala powder, one big tablespoon of chaat masala powder, and quarter tablespoon of cumin powder. Add some water to make a paste. Now in the same pan. Remove the excess oil and keep two three tablespoons in it. Sauté the ground mixture of garlic and green chilies until brown. Then add the masala paste along with some water. Stir well until the raw smell goes. Keep adding water little at a time when the paste goes really thick. Add some salt. Chop a few coriander leaves and mix. Make it a semi-thick gravy. Now assemble as shown. You can do it same way in your tiffin. Add the masala at the bottom. Layer half the fried brinjal. Again, go some masala. Add some beaten curd on top. Add the rest of the brinjal, and then the rest of the masala. Then again some curd. Finally, temper it with some mustard seeds spluttered in two tablespoons of ghee, then one teaspoon cumin seeds, and some dried red chilies. Mix and add it on top. This is a rich dish. You may skip the tempering if you want, but that adds taste.
Next is pitagard masala. Here I have taken one large pitagard. Cut this way and remove the seeds from inside. Then slice them in round shape. Again, not too thick nor too thin. Add it into a bowl. Add enough salt. Mix well and keep aside for one hour so that the bitter taste would go away. If you're cooking this in the morning, keep as such in a strainer preferably and keep in the fridge overnight. You can see the water below. Throw away the water. Now into a mixing bowl, add one tablespoon red chili powder, half to three fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, a pinch or quarter teaspoon of fennel seed powder, some black pepper powder, two tablespoons of oil, and some salt. Mix everything together to make a paste. Add the bitter gourd in it and marinate for just five minutes. Now to make it in a healthy way, I fried it in my air fryer. This option can also be done for the eggplants in my previous recipe. Keep at 190 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Heat some coconut oil or any oil. Add one large onion sliced and around two three chopped green chilies. Add a few curry leaves and mix well. Cover and let it cook on low flame. Add around one tablespoon of chopped ginger and mix. Chop one large tomato and add. Give a mix. Add one teaspoon red chili powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, one to one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder, and mix well. Cover and let it get well cooked. Add 2 tablespoons of melted palm jaggery. Then 1 tablespoon of tomato sauce which is optional. Mix everything till well combined. Then goes in the fried bitter gourd and mix everything without breaking. And that's done. Have it with rice or roti. And that's for today's video. Hope you liked it. Do try out the recipes and let me know your feedback. Share among your friends and family. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button clicking the bell icon for notifications on updates. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.